Welcome to Bread and Pastry Production. Today, we will discuss two short topics. First, is the safety of tools and equipment. Second, is the safety measures in the use of tools and equipment. For today's objectives, at the end of the learning period, you should be able to identify ways on how to keep the tools and equipment in the kitchen. Create a graphic organizer on the safety measures in the use of tools and equipment. And appreciate the importance of proper maintenance and safety of tools and equipment. To check what you already know about the lesson, answer the pretest. Analyze the statement, write T if the statement is true, and F if the statement is false. Pause the video when answering and play the video when you're done. Number 1. Cleaning the rims from grease and dirt will not prevent fire hazard. False. Number 2. Cleaning of equipment will prevent disease-causing bacteria. True. Number 3. Use of tools and equipment doesn't need training. False. Number 4. A breakdown of our equipment may affect the quality of the food. True. Number 5. Regular maintenance will minimize broken tools. True. Number 6. Labeling the storage will help locate the tools faster. True. 7. Keep on repairing the tools until it works. False. 8. Immediately report malfunctions of equipment. True. 9. Handle fragile tools with care. True. And 10. Place tools and equipment in a clean, dry place. True. For the recap, fill in the blank with the correct word to complete the sentence. Choose from the pool of words. Pause the video when answering and play the video when you're done. Number 1. Kitchen knives should be black. Sharp. Number 2. It is suggested to have a blank cutting boards for meat and vegetables. Separate. Number 3. Blank measuring glass is easier to read when measuring liquid ingredients. Angled. Number 4. Spoons and whisks are necessary for blank and steering. Mixing. Number 5. Pasta spoons are used for serving and keeping pasta blank. Separated. Number 6. An electric hand mixer is helpful in mixing blank amount of butter. Large. Number 7. Tongs and spatulas are helpful for blank food. Turning. 8. Mixing bowls are useful for mixing ingredients. Number 9. Colander with blank won't let the food sit in the liquid after washing. Stand. Number 10. Blank tools are tools that we think we don't need but they also offer great help. Miscellaneous. For the first part of our lesson, let's discuss about the safety of tools and equipment. Good quality of service. Let's read the conversation first. One day, Isa went to a coffee shop to buy some breakfast. Good morning, mom. Good morning. I would like to order a coffee and a cheese bread. I'm sorry, mom, but all big products are not available today. Our oven is not working. What? I'm so disappointed. This is so unexpected because you always have baked products. A breakdown of our equipment may affect the quality of the food we prepared. It can cause slowdown in production and services. It also gives disappointment to our customers. 
Oh, I almost forgot. I need to clean the tools and equipment before they accumulate germs and bacteria. And that's true about sanitation. Equipment in the kitchen can develop disease-causing bacteria. Regular cleaning of this equipment will help in preventing disease-causing bacteria. Now look at that. This is not good. It can cause fire. And that is true. Grease and dirt in our stove rims can cause fire hazard. Cleaning the rims from grease and dirt will minimize the danger. You can only work in the kitchen if you know how to use the tools and equipment. I totally understand. It is just necessary to avoid any accidents. When we talk about safety, food workers need training so they can have the knowledge needed on how to use the tools and equipment properly. The refrigerator is not working again. It's the third time for this month. We already spent a lot for repairs. I think we need to consider buying a new one. When we talk about less cost of production, Maintaining our tools and equipment regularly will minimize broken tools. If you already spent a lot for repairs, might as well use it for buying a new one. The second part will be about the safety measures in the use of tools and equipment. Store knives or any sharp kitchen tools in designated places, blades down. Labeling the storage will help you locate them faster. Repair broken tools and equipment immediately to prevent further damage. Replace them if repairing no longer works. To prevent electrical hazard, check wiring of electrical equipment regularly. Immediately report kitchen equipment that are not functioning to your seniors or supervisors. For fragile tools like glass, always handle them with care. Those with breaks should be discarded. Attempting to repair them may cause further damage. Tools and equipment are always placed in a clean, dry place. Keeping them in a wet place may cause damages. For your activity, you will create a graphic organizer on the safety measures in the use of tools and equipment. Pause the video while creating your graphic organizer and play the video when you're done. The answers in the graphic organizer may vary per student. The following key points should be on your graphic organizer. Number 1. Store knives or any sharp kitchen tools in designated places, blades down. Number two, repair broken tools and equipment immediately. Number three, check wiring of electrical equipment regularly. Number four, handle fragile tools with care. And number five, place tools and equipment in a clean, dry place. The second part of your activity is sentence completion. Complete the sentence by choosing the correct term from the pool of words. Pause the video while answering and play the video when you're done. Number 1. Blank cleaning of equipment will help in preventing disease-causing bacteria. Regular. Number 2. Repair tools blank to prevent further damage. Immediately. Number 3. Store knives, blades, or sharp edge blank. Down. Number four, check wiring of electrical equipment regularly. Number five, broken fragile tools should be blank. Discarded. And number six, keeping tools in wet places may cause damages. To wrap it up, answer the question, what are the three things that you learned today? Pause the video when answering and play the video when you're done. For the valuing part, you will do CAF or consider all factors. You are an owner of a newly opened bakery. 
what factors should be involved so you can properly maintain your tools and equipment. Pause the video when answering and play the video when you're done. For the post-test, analyze the statement. Write T if the statement is true and F if the statement is false. Pause the video when answering and play the video when you're done. Number 1. Regular maintenance will minimize broken tools. True. Number 2. Tools and equipment should be placed in a clean, dry place. True. Number 3. Use of tools and equipment needs training. Also true. Number 4. A breakdown of our equipment will not affect the quality of the food. False. Number 5. Cleaning the rims from grease and dirt will prevent fire hazard. It's true. Number 6. Labeling the storage will help locate the tools faster. True. Number 7. Replace tools when repairs don't work anymore. Also true. Number 8. Immediately report malfunctions of equipment. True as well. Number 9. Handle fragile tools with care. True. And lastly, cleaning of equipment will prevent disease causing bacteria. Also true. Keep up the good work. See you on the next class. Keep safe and God bless.